What's happening guys? Matt with Tactical Guns and Gear back. I um, want to do a real quick third installment of the uh, active shooter rig. Uh, active shooter kit, active shooter plate carrier. carrier. Uh, I caught a lot of guff. A lot of people were talking shit, telling me that um, I'm going to get shot by the police, you know, just because I'm wearing this. Uh, the fact that I have this, you know, people that were out of the country saying Americans are so paranoid, um, this, that, and the other thing. Uh, you have to also remember that in some capacity, I do use this equipment um, day to day, and I do shoot guns um, partially for a living. So it's not necessarily, I don't know, people just get wild with the comments. Just go ahead and read them on the, uh, part one and part two. But anyway, um, it's all good to go, good to set up. You can see it's nice and tight, rides right up, starts at my collarbone, pretty much goes about an inch above my belly button, uh, give or take. And so that's vital area, that is a good area of coverage for me. And it is also nice and tight and compact. Um, you can see the back plate. Covers my lungs pretty well, covers my heart, um, so I'm pretty happy with that setup too. Uh, what I did, I'll get a little closer in a second here, is I wove some um, shock cord through the, the uh, webbing on the back. That way I could have, you know, we can put extra magazines in there. Right now there's some flexies in there, but whatever you need to put in there, hopefully you can see that. So. That's just some shot cord. REI has it, you know, like 39 cents per foot or whatever. Go buy 10 feet for four bucks and you're in it. Um, so the only two things that I really changed is first and foremost, this rig originally did not have shoulder straps. And I mentioned that in the last video. I got the high speed gear um, padded shoulder straps or padded shoulder harnesses, whatever they're called. And huge difference double thumbs up they kick ass I mean, there's something like gel in there i don't know that's what it feels like is gel i don't know if it's just some type of foam or something but it feels pretty radical it they're very very thick you can see here i mean it takes up this whole area where opposed to my original one was just an inch and a half across this new one is now probably three inches for sure so i doubled the space on either side so I have a lot better weight distribution now and after wearing it for an hour and ten minutes or so I can already tell it's improved you know yeah I'm not I'm just kind of messing around doing some dry practice drills but uh, it would still be enough to I would get that hot spot if um, and I would notice it and right now I'm noticing that it's better so the high speed gear padded shoulder um, harnesses or padded shoulder pads whatever they're called anyway for I think they're 20 or 30 dollars totally worth it if you have a plate carrier where you're, maybe it already has some whatever some straps and you just want to lighten that load distribute the weight it's the way to go um, I'm super happy the, this Grey Ghost gear rig works well with the high speed gear shoulder pads. Awesome match. Lastly, I had the uh, SOE tear off medical kit on it always, but before I had the tourniquet over on this side here. So it was looking, looking like that basically. Tourniquet there. Um, not a huge deal. It seems like the outside's a little bit more logical as far as ripping it off. But since it's a tear off, I mean, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to tell you the reason was because when I go to draw my gun, it was just getting in the way. I mean, literally, I mean, so minutely that all it really took was for me to flip this thing around and I can draw my gun without touching anything and put it away where uh, and I'm missing it by you know a quarter of an inch but I'm not touching it I'm getting full movement of my arms full range of motion it's not hindering me at all the only uh, negative to that is kind of like I mentioned is it is on the inside but since it's a tear off med kit 
I uh, don't know if that's necessarily a huge deal. And um, I also incorporate into my EDC, which I want to show because it's a really kick-ass product from Green Force Tactical here. This is the rat's tourniquet that I used to have rolled up right into this section of the plate carrier. Uh, I decided that since Green Force Tactical, Christian Green over there, he made this for us and uh, I said, well, hell, I'm going to use it. And it's been about six weeks now that I've had it EDC every single day I've had it on me. And, you know, the first couple of days it was kind of a pain, but once you, I just had to figure it out, really. I mean, I had to be smarter than the plastic. But once I figured it out, man, this thing just disappears, you don't feel it, and you have a quality tourniquet. I mean, quickly, very quickly, okay? So I decided to remove the tourniquet from this area, and since I've now incorporated it into my EDC, I'm gonna have that on me hopefully anyway okay um i still do have a tourniquet so that's part three for the um, active shooter kit again i'm just going to emphasize hard plates to stop rifle threats um you need a something preferably equal in power to what could be shooting at you so preferably a rifle round semi-automatic um and have some medical not just for yourself but a lot of times the whole reason we're reacting to this is because we just saw somebody do something terrible all right so um everybody uh, have fun be safe and i'll be back to you soon